Started feel like shit, hand to the worst. I won't even make a dollar if you put me on the car. Let me be the for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs I was on before you found me. Huh? Like Listen to this track, bitch. When I say ignorance is at an all time high, man. I sometimes can't do nothing but sit back and laugh. I got a story for y'all today. Coming out of the Bronx, New York. Where a father and son proceeds to get into the shootout with the police after a, I guess, an argument, a scuffle or whatnot at a local bodega where the son was seen on camera shooting a gun and the police responded on the scene and you'll see what happened I'll be back with the rest of my commentary left two kids without fathers Michael Rosado's wife and family are distraught over his death they blame the NYPD for killing an innocent unarmed man he didn't have no firearm his hands were up and that cops too chose to be reckless but pix11 obtained surveillance video that tells a different story first you see a group of people arguing in front of a bodega at the corner of valentine avenue and 180th street in the fordham heights section of the bronx it's around 4 30 sunday morning that argument escalates and you can see michael rosado firing shots in the air two off-duty nypd officers hear the shots and they respond Rosado fires at the officers. They return fire, hitting the 24-year-old in his torso. The entire time, the gun is exchanging hands between Rosado and his father, Rafael. Rafael is also seen firing at the officers, ducking down behind a car. At one point, Rosado stumbles and falls to the ground. His father, Rafael, now has the gun. He leaves the scene, but comes back. In all, police say eight rounds were fired at the officers. City council member and Democratic candidate for Bronx Borough President Vanessa Gibson also watched the video. He pointed a weapon at police officers. He intended to shoot a police officer, and that will never end well. The police officers responded in the way that they were trained, and they did what they needed to do. And then his father was also engaging with police officers as well. Still, the community believes the outcome should have been different. Heads up! Don't shoot! Heads up! Don't shoot! The video is evidence in a full investigation. As far as Rafael Rosado, Michael's father, he has at least 60 prior arrests and is now charged in this shooting. Police say the officers identified themselves and repeatedly ordered the men to put their weapons down. Both sides agree the shooting was a tragedy and it could have been a lot worse. The two officers were not hit. They were treated for minor injuries. In the meantime, on that video, you also see the father passing off the gun to a third person. Police are looking for that person as we speak. So at this point, they don't have the weapon. Also in the video, you see uh, Michael stumbling, and he does put his hands up, but that is at the very end after the shootout. Man, these people are crazy and delusional. I would love to know people's thoughts, man. Please comment and tell me what y'all think about this news story. First, I want to say, I know I speak a lot about fathers being in the homes when it comes to these many different minority communities, but this is a prime example of a father being in the home and this being a sucky ass father. It's a damn shame that this man has all these arrests, done all this jail time, prison time, whatever, and he still couldn't seem to get it right for his family, for his wife, girlfriend, mother of that young man. He couldn't get himself together for that young man, for him to be able to come up and live a, a prosperous life so they could be Puerto Ricans they could be Latinos 
Um, I really don't know, but this this is the same stuff that happens in the black community. This is a prime example of, you know, it's, it's, it's a it's a prime example of wrong parenting. The best way I can put it. I don't feel sorry for the dude who he got himself killed. It's funny that you know he 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 shot all those he shot all those uh, shots before getting into the shootout with the police officer. And so I guess he ran out of ammunition. So he proceeded to, I guess, give the gun up and put his hands up, but it was too late. The police went on and walked him down. (laughs) It is what it is, man. And for these fools that continue to stand in front of these cameras and talking about Black Lives Matters and all this other bullshit. I like I said, I don't know if the people seen this, seen the cameras, seen the news story before they decided to step out there in the public and make themselves look like clowns. But at the end of the day, we know we know that they're not gonna run this back. They're not gonna walk this down. They're gonna continue to press on with this situation and try to make something out of it but hey we don't see Benjamin Crump or Cornell X out there so it seems like this family won't be getting any type of justice it is what it is at the end of the day man I blame the father for being a sucky ass parent I feel sorry for whoever I feel sorry for the children of the young man who who died. I do feel sorry for them. But then again, maybe they may have the chance to come up and, you know, be able to be prosperous people in society with their father being gone. Some may say that what I'm saying is harsh, man, but it is what it is. When you have children, man, in this world, man, sometimes you just got to hold yourself accountable and you have to act accordingly. Being out, he, he didn't care about his kids when he was out at the bodega arguing with people. That family didn't care about those kids, those grandchildren. And when they proceeded to shoot in the air and do all that they did, they didn't care too much about those children that this woman is saying that he left behind. So there's no excuse for this man's actions. When the police caught you, you should have just gave yourself up right then. But you was... You and your father and whoever else corroborated in this in this this act of senselessness, as they say. Every one of y'all should get what y'all deserve. So hey, it is what it is, man. I love y'all, man. I appreciate y'all for checking out another video. And I want to say, man, appreciate y'all for getting me over 700 subscribers, man. So now we can work on 800, man. We can keep on just working and grinding. I know these videos don't reach the way that some of my subscribers and commenters would like they would. But, you know, when you talk about stuff like this, it is what it is. But I'll push forward. I'll keep on dropping these videos, man. So subscribe to the channel. Like the video so we can get other people to check this video out. Share this video. Love y'all. See you on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Started feel like shit, hand to the worst. I wouldn't even make a dial if you put me on the climb. Let me be there for a while. When I look into your eyes, I don't see the same smile. Probably blame me for the drugs. I was on them for you, found me. Huh? Seem like I'm